you talk about athleticism, maybe one of the most athletic players on the team is Kira Young. The, uh, the Alabama native. Talk a little bit hmm. about Kiera and her, her talent and her ability and really the, the, the potential ceiling that she has because it's extremely high. It definitely is. It, the ceiling is definitely high for her. Uh, everybody calls her a truck driver. That's her nickname. Simply because of her strength, her ability to get to the rim and go finish, uh, her ability to, to really leap up off the floor and knock down jumpers. But what she does so well is when she puts it on the floor and she gets to that rim, she can go and finish and leap over the best. If we can get her to continue to do that on a night in, night in, night out basis, and also to work a little bit on her conditioning, we were definitely going to be very good because that's our bench power. We must have a little bit more fire from our bench to come in and spell some minutes for those five starters. And I'm telling you, it would make us so much better because when they come off the bench, everybody scouted you too, and they must respect your ability, and they will start to respect her ability when she starts to mix everything up and do all those great things and believe it and believe and not limit herself. Once she stops limiting herself, start playing the game the way she's capable of playing it because it's not about potential. You have potential. It is the ability that you have that you must now release. And that's what uh, Kiara Young is, release the ability. Absolutely. Now, there may be a two-way tie for most improved texters uh, early in the season. One name is Raina Kemp and the other is Tavasha Anderson. Let's talk a little bit about both of them. Raina, you know, she didn't register last year. She played and, mm -hmm. and, and, and really has kind of grown up. Tavasha had, unfortunately, had the injury last year. However, she, w when you talk about banking, she's probably the best person on the team when it comes to that. Talk a little bit about both of them and their growth thus far. Wonderful kids. When you speak about Raina Kent, I think the first year with her being down there in Division I basketball, being welcomed into the painted area, she was kind of pushed around a lot. Ask Raina over the summer, go and look on this thing. And the way she got this work on that base, I'm telling you, the kid picks up. Offensive stuff, she picks up very well. So she goes home during the summer, works on her base, comes back. Unbelievable, just unbelievable. It was like night and day to see a kid change. But what changed was her mentality. Is where her, it's her mentality that changed in order for her to be able to do the things she's doing now. Can she get down there and score with the best? Yes, simply because of the hard work that she puts in. Being able to go down there and post with the best of them, pushing around with her little frame to get the position that she wants, and she makes sure that it, it, she makes things happen. And that's the good thing. And she passed the ball very well. From high to low, she does an incredible job of passing the basketball. But the one thing that I like now that she's doing much better is she's playing better defense down there. It's not easy. When you're playing in a painted area and you're, you're, you're smaller than everybody else, it's not easy. But what she's doing is becoming very slippery where no one can touch her. She's constantly moving, constantly making them work, trying to find her. So that's what's making her a better basketball player. Is she, it's not easy to go down and post her up. And when she post up, she now understands how to get there, what she must do to get to the place where she wants to get to. So those things is making us so much better. We have an opportunity to give Adrian a break with Raina coming in and Tavasha Anderson learned from the best and that was Shanavia Dydell. Absolutely. Being down there bumping and banging with her every day. Now can, can uh, Tavasha step out and shoot it? Yes, very well. Has a beautiful touch from 15 to 17 feet out. Wonderful touch. Uh, we're working on Tavasha being able to put it down one or two times to the rim. But her power, she makes us that traditional basketball team by being a big post player with her back to the basket and we can go inside, outside. And when she begins to play strong and physical, we're going to be an incredible presence down in the paint. Now, now you talked about that traditional basketball team and how we're really kind of non-traditional right now because we more or less play outside in. Mm -hmm. What's your preference? I've always played out, uh, inside out. Always played inside out. But the game changes. The game has changed, and you got to go with the change of the game, the flow of the game. Uh, so I've learned to even like both. And with the ability that we have, with Adrian Johnson on the outside, Chantel Bramble on the outside, and you also sometimes have Tarkeisha Weisinger Mackey who plays inside for us. So when you have those people out there, what post player is going to be able to defend them putting the ball on the floor to get to the rim? Not many. Not many. Not many. So that makes us a pretty good basketball team. And one person who's going to be a very good basketball player by the time she leaves here is the New Zealand kid. <laughs> Yelena, and, I, and I, I'm probably going to butcher her last name when I say this, but Vukšinic. That's not bad. Well, that's that's yeah, not it's, bad. It's the first time for everything. <laughs> <laughs> but she shoots the ball incredibly well, one of the best shooters on the team. Let's talk a little bit about Yelena and her outside uh, problems. Let me tell you, no one works harder than this kid. No one works harder than this kid, and you're so right. 
She will be one of the best to ever put on a Lady Texas uh, basketball uniform simply because of the work that she puts in. It's all about the work. If you talk about can really shoot it, and she's a lefty. Lefties are always beautiful to watch. But if we can get a little patience and for her to believe a little bit more. Now, if she missed 20, oh, she's going to shoot the 21st. <laughs> she would definitely shoot that. Now, she's always believing in her shot because she knows she's a great shooter. Uh, and that also gives us a little bit more from the bench because of that shooting, for her to be able to stretch that defense and we'll be able to get the ball in a little bit easier to Adrian or Chantel or, or, or Vosh or Raina, whoever might be on the side where she is, because you must defend her. She can also put the ball on the floor and get to the rim. We just want her to get there and finish. But that's one kid who's going to be very, very, very good by the time she leaves here. I mean, those are incredibly big words for you to say that she could potentially be one of the best to ever wear a Lady Texter uniform because this is coming from a two-time Kodak All-American and, and saying that and someone you, you recruited. Sit back, relax, and stay tuned. When we come back from break, we'll talk a little bit about the Lady Texter tradition. You're watching the Lady Texter Show.